name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what forces make planets rotate. So the answer is there is no real force that makes a planet rotate. And the reason that the planets begin to even rotate is due to the conservation of angular momentum that comes from the beginning of the solar system. So the solar system forms in this molecular cloud of gas and dust and are very large. And if you have a shock wave, uh, traveling through this cloud, it will set the cloud to be gravitationally unstable. And when this happens is that you're going to start uh, um, contracting. And as this cloud contracts and flattens out, uh, you start losing that radius. So the, your radius is shrinking. And now, angular momentum is about the mass, the radius square, and your rotational speed. So like, uh, if you actually you look at this, if your radius begins to shrink, but you want to keep this energy the same, this has to increase. So in order for uh, the cloud to conserve its angular momentum as the radius shrinks, it means that it has to rotate a lot faster. So in this mannerism, uh, you get um, all the planets rotating in order to conserve the angular momentum. So the original angular momentum uh, from the period of formation also has to do with collisions is what really sets a planet to rotate and what dictates the rotation of the actual planet. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what makes a planet rotate.